Hello and welcome to this Adobe Photoshop CS3 Extended Tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make a glossy button for any website or flash thingy or whatever for you to use. I'm just going to call mine button tut. You can call yours whatever you want and make sure the preset is default Photoshop size. Hit OK and then this will come up you want to hold down on your rectangle tool and select the rounded rectangle tool and then drag out a shape of a button now select the move tool if you want to center it up now what you want to do is you want to hold control or CTRL your keyboard which is the low left hand side and click on the black box in your layers panel on the right this will select your shape that you just made now you want to get up to the top the second tool down you want to get your rectangular marquee tool hold alt or alt on your keyboard which is also in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard and select bottom half of your button not exactly half but just underneath half as you can see this is cut off the bottom selection of your shape now what you want to do is go to up in the top select modify and contract and then type in the box contract by three pixels so you have three pixels in that box. Click OK, and I, as you might be able to see, because of my screen recorder, um, this has made the selection go in a bit more to make it like have an outline. Now what you want to do is select your gradient tool, and change your colors to black into white, or the colors that you're aiming at. If you see this message saying could not use the gradient tool because the content of the lay layer is not directly ed editable. Hit OK. Don't worry. Go to your layers panel where it's a shape and the layer on. And then go to rasterize layer or rasterize layer. Now you want to hold down shift and drag your gradient tool from just above down to just above the bottom or until you are happy with the gradient that it has given you. I am going to keep mine there for the sake of the tutorial and the time of uploading it. Then what you want to do is deselect and there you have it, you have a nice glossy button. If you want to add text and it's black and white, I recommend having white text it shows up much better. I'm going to type in click here and then just fit it into your button nice and smoothly. Now you are basically done and coming up will be a picture of your final result for those who cannot see it right now. This was tutworld.pixo.com with your online tutorials for Photoshop, Visual Basic and other programs. I'll see you soon.